Here's an old school tip for you. If you can animate something based on user input, you probably don't want to have it update immediately to track the input event, because it can often feel very jittery. Instead, what you should do is use the oldest easing equation in the book, which looks like this. Value plus equals target minus value all over strength. Here we're changing the value based on how close it is to the target. The closer it is, the less it gets moved, making it look way nicer. So there you have it, a little tip to make your input-based animations a teeny bit smoother.